Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and join me here once again in Transport Fever 2, overlooking the most beautiful of tropical sights. There's an absolutely gorgeous sandy beach lapped by crystal clear blue water with a smattering of tropical trees of some description uh, as a backdrop to this uh, lovely space. And then just along the, the piece a bit, a most magnificent iron ore mine, deep drilling into the earth. Well, digging into the earth. I'm not sure, are they drilling as such? They possibly are, but blowing things up and extracting iron ore. However, you may recall if we saw the end of, well, I saw it. Did you see it? Yes, if you saw the end of the last episode, towards the end, we got a notification that this mine, just outside of Manila, is closing down, or is at risk of closing down? We got that alert. And as you can see, if we scroll, move out just a little bit, we got our little sort of timer indicator here. And we've got 238 days left in which to mark it. I just wanted to highlight that because we ought to make a decision when we get these notifications about what we're doing with the mine. And I did say when that message popped up in the previous video, oh, I'll go and take a look at that in a moment and then didn't, got carried away doing something else, possibly more exciting. I'll, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, so coming back into this, open this game up, it gave me that notification and of course it disappears. But we do have, as I remembered, on the industry statistics panel here, F6, it does tell you which industries are closing down. And can I make a small gripe here, a little bit of a complaint. When you're looking in your mods, and you have a mod which has suddenly disappeared from the workshop or something. It can be quite easy to find it because it appears at the top of this list when you order it by name order. But that doesn't happen here. So which mine is it that's closing down? Okay, I know, but if I didn't know, then you've got to scroll through this entire list to find it. There it is, Manila Iron Ore Mine. Alternatively, of course, uh, you could sh sort it by shipment or transport numbers, in which case it's likely to be quite close to the top of this list. So yeah, a small gripe to the uh, developers, Urban Games, of this really remarkably good game. Otherwise, I, I obviously enjoy spending a lot of time with it. Just yeah, could, could we get that sorted so it's sorted to the top or somewhere in that list, not just left in the middle there. Anyway, let's have a look. Do we need this iron ore mine? Can I just let it go to the wall? We've already got two ore mines close by, which are actually feeding a steel foundry here, which is the Baghdad one, complementing a couple of coal mines out here. Um, I don't think we have any other use for iron ore apart from steel. We've got a coal mine here. Uh, are you f you're not feeding anything either. No, we have got another steel foundry out here somewhere near Kiev. There it is. Well, you're, yeah, you've already got supply enough there. I don't think we need these iron ores mines here. Where's it? I've lost it again. There it is. Or this coal mine. Or that one. I think we can let that one go. Sorry about that old chap. Um, yeah, you put a lot of money into digging that hole and uh, you're going to make no money at all out of it. Now, today's episode, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to trying to fix and improve our freight delivery and sort of continue to make money from it. And I'm afraid we're back here, probably, for, I think this is the third episode in a row, <laughs> in dealing with this quarry, which was closing down until I decided three episodes ago to keep it open by shipping that stone to the Conmat factory there. And that sort of works, or it will work. So we're getting the combat shipped here to be sent over the water to this northernmost island uh, to send the combat to Port Moresby and to Hong Kong, both of which have got a reasonably good demand for it. It's just taking its while getting there. And we're using this boat route here. The trouble is, what I'm thinking is, this is just a very local delivery system. And ideally, a sort of powerful industry chain like this could be should deliver to more than one or two cities it should have a, a raft of customers demanding a lot of output to keep it going and for the routes to make money so looking at this I thought okay what can we do and I noticed 
wasn't too difficult to be honest because there's a big box here that we've got a lot of these goods stacking up here so we're getting goods coming out of Chengdu factory here which is fully operational being supplied by everything it needs and it's servicing demand all over the shop including DMB and Fu rank poor now those of course are right at the other end of the map now did we not just a few episodes previous actually set up a new goods factory up here we did so this one doesn't appear to be serving as that's the station let's look at it on the factory doesn't appear to be doing as well because it's a bit distant from everything and it's only servicing actually it's not really I don't think it's servicing Rangpur at all which has a new but very small demand for goods it's not serving anybody at all really so if we look at the consumers here yeah, it's heading to Chengdu Erawan which is just over here there's Erawan there uh, Fukushima uh, which is over there. The Yerevan, Izmir, Hong Kong? Uh, no, no. I think what we need to do is stop this Chengdu goods factory sending goods up this end of the map by providing it with an alternative location for that demand. And it occurred to me this factory here is quite close to those docks. So the thrust of today's episode is we're going to set up a, I think it's going to be a road route that is quite close and we've already got a road f a station here uh, to take uh, excess goods coming out of Chengdu onto the dockside here because both uh, okay Port Moresby doesn't but Hong Kong does have a good enough demand for goods and possibly Port Moresby might develop it now, is there anywhere else around here? Kiev, you're already getting goods. Izmir, you're actually getting goods sent up here to the hub, so you're getting there that way. Uh, Georgetown also has a small demand. But no, I think what we can do is if we start shipping goods out of Chengdu down here, that will take some of that supply from here, so that Rangpur, hopefully, We'll find, actually, oh, I've got customers now because Chengdu isn't shipping everything to everybody. And it also occurred to me, we've actually got this tool factory here. Yeah, which is servicing our hub. It's got quite good supply and the line out there is quite profitable. Uh, I think it's mid through delivery at the mid mid delivery at the moment. So the numbers look a bit meagre but they will bulk up substantially when that train gets in uh, and that factory yeah you could do with supplying we're not supplying 100% well, I think we could supply more from here directly so I'm thinking again a route from there to the docks to supply tools to Port Moresby uh, Hong Kong doesn't want them so but again that will help feed the profitability of that dockside operation there and then finally in today's episode possibly it depends how long all this takes me of course is we want to get Rangpur to take these goods at the moment Rangpur is not getting any by the look of it and that would help our local truck delivery here for races Rangpur who aren't making a lot of money at the moment they're taking food out of here but yeah I'll check the supply points here to make sure they are shipping oh it's not showing me the uh, distribution is it so if I can do cargo there you are. so who wants the goods anybody it's probably one business and it's not going to show it here is it we've seen this before ah there it is that wall that one big commercial block so you are quite close to an existing delivery point yeah I think we can do that so we'll hopefully get more goods delivered to Rangpur and also and this is where it gets more complicated into Erewhon because at the moment it's all going up to the Ajaxima hub here and then there's a long train coming down here to deliver the goods I think if we could short circuit that a bit and that will mean this uh, chemical plant here should start producing more so I've got another loss making route here 
which is this one here. Yeah, it's just, it's never made enough money for some reason. Possibly because demand isn't being supplied quickly or effectively enough, or that the other demand is being supplied much more efficiently. My routes up here are more efficient, I think is what's going on. So the game thinks, well, why send oil up here for this plastics factory when I can send it down somewhere else more quickly and get more money? So that's the plan for today. So the first thing to do, I think, is create these road routes here. I'm just thinking, actually, we could make that a rail route. Ooh, could I? Oh, I, that's this is going to be complicated. Slipping a track from there to here, to this station here, without actually going across the bus, but it could cut across here. Hmm. Or here we now oh, we do have that. Look. Right, we'll look at that. So let's get this going. So I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get into the speed build and a bit of a soundtrack. And I'm going to create, to start with, a fairly short route for the trucks to deliver goods to uh, to the North Island. And then I'll work out some way of getting tools as well over to the dockside. By rail, I think. That'd be, yeah. We could do it by truck, but the trucks at the moment are a little bit slow. So I think rail might be better. Right, I'll see you in a few moments' time. A few minutes' time, even the other side of the speed build and we'll see if it all actually comes together and works.
there we have it. I wonder if this will actually work. So we've got a fairly simple tool uh, goods line coming out of uh, that truck stop there, which is the Chengdu Goods Exchange, which should work fairly easily. Now, because there's all sorts of goods being shipped all over the place, I want to be fairly strict about what gets sent where. I've configured the that particular line to only pick up goods from here rather than plastics or steel or anything else and send that across to the dock but possibly it might bring combat back which might give another supply outlet to our combat plant here and encourage that to develop and put more money into that particular train route he said hopefully uh, whereas the tools exchange uh, again we're just picking up tools from here nothing else and we're taking nothing back, if I remember right. Did I do that? No, I didn't. So we're taking nothing back. Yeah, I think that should be all right. We shall see how that pans out. Now we've got some trucks ready to go on the uh, goods exchange. So we just need to find a train to go there. I thought about a couple of ways of doing that. I think we looked, I looked quickly at sort of putting it in coming from this side and coming in from the station from the other side. But that just made this particular truck stop more difficult, although I suppose I could have put the truck stop along this side of the station rather than attaching it directly to the dock. But I, I like where it is there. And we did have this route that we could use to get the trains in, so we didn't need to spend too much on adding new tracks. Though it did mean reconfiguring this station here so it doesn't interfere with the oil delivery for the plastics route to go to the Chengdu factory and there is some is there some contention going on here yeah there is oh that's the steel line isn't it so that's the line coming from Kiev uh, steel foundry to bring the steel across here into the goods factory so I think I think that all works out they're all sort of interrelated routes so I'm happy with that actually so that's quite good I'll tidy this up and smooth out and all the rest of it momentarily but I think the first thing we want is a train on there so what should we put on there we've got this depot which should be able to send a train out there what have we got uh, we're going to use steam still and we probably want reasonably good power we could use I, I, I keep saying this, we're using a lot of these they're, they're really good I think they're good value could use the Russian. You'd go too fast for your own good. Uh, all this old Russian. All the China one. Now we do actually have a set of trains coming in, I think, in 1947. Which might work for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the D-51 on there. For the moment. And if we get a better locomotive, I might switch it out. So this could be just a transitory, a temporary choice. So the cargo we're taking is going to be goods, no, tools, isn't it? It's tools. There we go, tools. So what have we got here? You will go 40. No, you're far too slow. Don't want a passenger wagon. Uh, naffy. Really? Oh, well, I've got it by power, not speed, haven't I? That's why. You great fool. Right, and so that's the box car. Yeah, we'll put a few of you on. Not many to start with. We'll do that. And you can then go on to the Chengdu. Okay, where is it? Because <laughs> I've got the eye icon turned on, so it's only showing me routes I can actually see on the map. Chengdu. Oh, where? oh it's Surat, isn't it? It's Surat uh, Tools Exchange. That's it. There you are. You're coming out. You'll be coming down. Yeah, you're going to take a while to get there. So what we'll do, we'll fast forward. Well, I will play on and I'll replace that playing on that couple of months with a sexy video effect. And we'll come back in 1947. And well, hopefully some of these vehicles will be in. Oh, where's that? There's a truck. Oh, it's already carrying 12. Excellent. To the dock side here. Now these boats can carry. Yeah, they'll carry anything. 
back and forth. Right, I'll see you on the other side of a sexy video effect and we'll see if we get any new vehicles to play with. And then we'll uh, tackle the Rangpur, the other end of this map. And we'll tackle the goods factory up there. Oops, sorry, missed some of the uh, new vehicles coming in. We have got at least one new locomotive and a whole selection of new Russian trucks by the look of it. And this is going to be a very long list of variants of new passenger wagons, presumably. So uh, let's have a look at our train, which has just got out of the depot and past the steel fan. Uh, no, pass, yes, past the steel foundry. It's en route. It's going to have to go to the dockside first. But our first shipment of goods out to the North Island has taken place. So that ship has picked up 15 goodies. Lovely. So get rid of that truck. Now, this train. Can we replace you with something a bit better? So, locomotive, steel, go on, go, there's, there's so many of you. Uh, don't carry tools, carry anything. And this is going to be, well we don't want top speed, we want power. I think that's not you, it's you, the Russian class L. Ah, 1620. Right, as opposed to twelve, we might as well. I did sort of kind of promise we we wouldn't use this train for everything or this locomotive for everything. So, yeah, let's replace that uh, that engine with the slightly more powerful, yeah, significantly more powerful <laughs> vehicle, the Russian L. So we'll put you on there. There you go. Not that you've got much to carry at the moment, to be honest, but uh, I'm sure you will in due course. Right, so having done that, let's have a look at the other end of the island. Now, I'm not seeing any goods waiting here at the truck stop. Uh, yep, must be you coming. Yes, ah, right, okay, we've got 58 goods coming into the, uh, the farm here. And the question is, of those 58, how many are going to be shipped out here for distribution through DMBN Fu? And how many are going to be left here for Rangpur local delivery? Let's, uh, let's see what happens as this train comes in. So it's actually quite a large station, isn't it? Well, OK, so a chunk of it is bypass tracks, but, you know, here he comes. Uh, over half a million. That's good. Uh, so the goods... Uh, yeah, they're all going on the grain bulk, aren't they? So why are they not coming in here for distribution? Okay, there aren't many trucks on there. And you are definitely shipping to areas where there are goods required. But, of course... Rangpur only wants 10, which isn't a large number, is it? I haven't fiddled with this line, have I, to give it a... No, there's no... There's no def, def, There's no specific loading and unloading instructions, so that's fine. What if I put another truck on there? Am I just throwing money at it? But it's reasonably profitable, actually, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, it is, it, yeah. It took a while to get... Well, actually, it was quite profitable to start with, but I think it was a different route to begin with. And then we, then I let the guys at Four Aces take over the route and added in goods as well as just food into uh, into the mix. And that's that's doing quite well again. I Yeah, I think another vehicle on there. So we'll clone one of you, just to make sure that we've got the capacity there. That's slightly disappointing. It'd be nice if more went to uh, to Rangpur, but we're unable to control where the supplies go. We're not that sort of company. We're, we just do what we're told. We're just told to deliver stuff to wherever wants it. Now, looking at this and looking back at my notes, Baghdad, yes, Baghdad has oh, a small demand for goods. 27. Well, it's more than DM, it's, well, it's more than Rangpur, rather. It's not a lot. So we could get some delivered there. My concern is that Erewhon, which has the significant demand for goods, and it's already getting some by various routes, is a bit of a stretch. 
to get to. Uh, DM Bianfu again has a very modest demand. Although, actually, what, what happens here, of course, is that the goods going here are going not to DM Bianfu. They're going out here, presumably, yet yeah, for onward distribution to the hub. Although some, but some are being siphoned to local delivery to, to, uh, to DMB and Fu itself. But again, do they come up by the train or by this truck? Who knows? Certainly not me. Right, so what I'm thinking of doing, actually, uh, just to wrap this episode up, is rather than going to Erewhon, which I'd like to do, but as a kind of first step to see how the tracks look, is to actually take some goods down from here to Baghdad. Now, Baghdad doesn't have a local freight station within the city, but it does have, train station that is, but it does have this here by the oil well and a local delivery here, which is currently delivering just fuel. There's a separate... Yes, there is a separate route bringing tools in from over there, which is losing money. That's not good, is it? Hmm. Things have changed recently. Hmm. Might have to look at that. Uh, so we could deliver here. We'd have to fiddle with our trucks, of course, to uh, to get that. But that should be a relatively easy thing to do because we've got this track already going there. But I might want to put it. In. <laughs> oh, this is a very busy station as well. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, we've got these two routes. Got the oil bulk, which is sent, basically supposed to take fuel to Ajaxima. We've got the oil processing, which was supposed to take the crude. But most of it, by the look of it, is actually going. Yeah, most of it is going up to the uh, Rangpur Dien Fu refineries. Interesting, but can I bring all? Oh. We could take those goods back here. Oh, hang on. What's, where are you going? Bag... Ah! What's... Oh, hang on. What's... Ah, I've got another... Baghdad local delivery. Really? Oh. So we've got three... Goodness grief, we got three <laughs> truck routes delivering cargo into Baghdad. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, what? Oh, you've got loads of stuff. You haven't got enough trucks, though, to deliver it. That's the issue. Oh, life gets more complicated, doesn't it, when, you, when, uh, when you've got so much going on. Could we? So... Where am I? Let's orientate myself again. We're coming down here. We could. I is. I wonder. Uh, oh, that's that truck stop there. You're taking. Oh my goodness! This this, this is a very busy part of the map. I I'd quite forgotten. <laughs> quite forgotten what was going on here. I think that truck stop might be too far out of reach of this train station. Although there is a link between here and there. It's a bit tenuous. What route? Have we got two routes going in there? We have. We've already got two routes going in there. It's got the... No, actually it's got three routes coming in here to the steel foundry. You know, the two inputs and the one output, the steel itself. Let me have a quick, quick play with this. Okay, uh, so what we will do... Okay, let, the first thing I'm going to do is see if we actually connect these two stations. A little bit of road work. Okay, so we're going to need a platform on this side here, aren't we?
think we are connected. That truck stop there connects, excellent, connects to the train station. We can get trains to come in here, which is coming down that line, which means I could probably have actually put in another track there. Now that track, uh, let's get you out of the way. That's for the iron ore coming in. All right, what I'm going to do then, uh, having proved that they are connectable, is I think take take this bit of the connection out, actually put in another track so we can get some track coming down from Rangpur into Rang, into Baghdad rather, and hopefully ship some goods down here as well. By train for delivery by this third truck route, which I'd quite forgotten I had. Lovely, but before I do that, I think this definitely needs more trucks on it. So well, these probably look like cheap, yeah, cheap, not terribly capacious Russian vehicles. All well, from 10 years ago, they definitely need changing. Oh, and we got some new ones, didn't we, just recently? So which ones are you? You're the A3AA. Um, I've, I've, I've not seen you here at all. Maybe you're, you're no longer in use. That's the, our, our box standard one, the Opal Blitz tarpaulin. Uh, 37 carrying 12, you carry everything. And we've got this uh, new... Uh, okay, the flatbed. Yeah, you carry 13, so that's one more. You go at this... How fast do these actually go? Four, oh, you go fast, 40. Oh, okay. Well, uh, 37's fine. 37 is fine. And I think we yeah, will put you on. Uh, how much do you compare to... Yeah, you're about 3,000 more. So we'll put you on. Good. And I think we could probably do with a couple more of you. There you go. So that's you doing that. Right, so what I'm going to do then uh, is we're going to adjust this uh, station here again. Get some track down to the Baghdad Forest Station, the sawmill station rather. And, oh no, 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 it's coming here to the steel mill. That's right, that's the easier one to get to, I think. Right, so another quick bit of speed build and I'll be back with you uh, in a couple of minutes time. See you there.
I do believe that is all connected. So we have this fabulous new line, the Rangpur Goods Goods Bolt. That should be plural. There you go, that will do. So that's coming down from Rangpur Farm. Yeah, I did an initially, as you saw there, choose the wrong line because that would take it to the oil refinery link, which we could have done, but I, that's, that's busier, I think. There's more trains on that. So the question is, where do we get a train from that would actually service that line? I think we've got a depot here, which goes directly in there. So let's do that, shall we? Again, we're not going to need a great deal on here in terms of uh, of capacity or speed. Actually, the speed might be in good. So there's that. That's the 50. You are quite good. You're. I, I, I would like to use these trains, but they're just not powerful enough. And we don't have any goods wagons yet that go at 62 anyway, so let's use the new Russian. Let's do that. Uh, so we will add one of you. And this, I suppose, is going to be boxcars. Yeah, all the modern Japanese ones are 40, so we're going to stick to 51 hour boxcar. We'll just put that on there for now, I think. And you can go on that line there. Super! We also had another train we recently added, didn't we? Let's go and have a, a look at you. That was you, wasn't it? How are you doing? Ah, I don't think you've made your first stop yet. Ah, but well we do have some tools going there. Excellent! Right, so our two new train lines will have, well, certainly this first one, the Surat Tools Exchange, will have something to deliver to the dock side here, which already has some goods. And that line is getting to, to be profitable. That is excellent. The new truck line. Oh, you're, you're certainly getting there. Uh, and our train lines here. Oh, you're already profitable. Excellent. What about the original stone delivery? You're not profitable yet. Oh, you could be, though. But again, by connecting in this uh, CONMAT delivery here into our network. So these trucks, I think, are capable of taking CONMAT back if they want to into the Chengdu uh, arm of our network. So they might do that, which should prompt more demand for Combat. Which would be good. Would be good. Keep all those lines profitable. So Surat is picking up some tools. Rangpur Goods Bolt, you're making your way up there. Hope I've... Yeah, I, I forgot to put signals on that Surat line. I do apologise for that. I have since signalled that line. I mean, neither of these new lines required that many signals because they were using a lot of uh, existing track, but they're there. Right, so I think we're going to leave that for today. So I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever 2, the Island Hub series. We'll follow our new train up there. Yes, thank you for joining me today for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Don't, don't move around. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better, if you've got something to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, or if you feel like having something named, a train, a route, an industry, a light, whatever, then please do. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now.